Welcome to the University Network TV, where we scan the globe to give students, their families, and educators the very best tips for student success. I'm your host today, Dr. Crystal Rose, and in this College Brown series, we have advice for high school seniors entitled, Debunking the Top 5 Myths About Your Personal Statement for College Applications. If you are a high school senior applying to college, this is for you. We all know that the essays are one of the most difficult parts of the college admissions process. So anything that can bring clarity to make this a bit more straightforward is welcome. We're not doing this on our own. We're reviewing this with April Paris Joseph, CEO of Paris Education Solutions. To find out more about April, please see the link in the bio below. April has the college admission advice you want to hear. Welcome, April. Thank you for joining to help us debunk these myths around the personal statement using the acronym BU. To help guide us, we'll first explore the myths and then we'll debunk them using this acronym. Okay, what is the first myth about writing the personal statement? The first and the biggest myth is that you have to portray yourself in a particular way. So there's this idea that the admissions office has already decided who they want you to be, and you're trying to shove yourself into that box, but it's not true. They're looking to fill a whole campus with a variety of different people. So just be who you are, represent yourself honestly, and tell your true story, because this is where they meet you as a human being is in this essay. So it's not about trying to be someone you're not. So what does the B stand for when we're debunking this myth? Be yourself, be who you are. There's only, you know, so many members to the basketball team. There's only one student government president on a college campus. And the college isn't going to accept every single valedictorian from across the country. They want a variety of people. They want to fill out all the different clubs and activities. So who you are is valuable to the campus and just own that and really understand it. Great. If you're funny, you want to be funny. If you're dry and sarcastic, it's okay to do that. Make sure that the essay reflects who you are as a person and not someone else. I've also heard that if someone who knew you would read it, they would recognize you from the way the essay is written. So you really want to be true to yourself. Next up, what is that second myth about writing the personal statement? The second myth is that you have to write about what the college wants you to write about. So this is about kind of, we're using E for evaluation. And we really want you to think about the essay as an interview. So at a lot of these large state schools, and even at some of the bigger privates, you're not gonna have an interview at all. And oftentimes an interview isn't even with the admissions office, it's with an alumni, or someone else affiliated with the university that's willing to do this work. So the essay becomes the opportunity to just show who you are as a human being, to make that personal connection and talk about also what's not elsewhere in the application. So again, so many of these myths are gonna come back to the same thing of being who you really are, right? And letting that shine through. So it's not about trying to write about a subject that you think a school wants to hear, what does the E stand for when debunking this myth? So this is evaluation and how are you being evaluated? You know, remember again, this isn't where you tell them about your grades. This isn't where you tell them about your awards and your activities. You already did that in the application that comes somewhere else, whether you're using the Common App or the Coalition App, there's sections to give them that information. This is something else about you. That is a really good point because during the college admissions process, it is normal to feel overwhelmed. There aren't many things that you can control, but the essay is one of the elements in this process that you can control. Thank you, April, for this excellent discussion and debunking these myths around personal statements. Thank you. And to our audience, thank you very much for joining us for this episode of the University Network's television show, Paris Educational Solution. Check out the link to Paris Educational Solutions blog below. Hopefully writing your personal statement will be that much clearer from the myths that we debunked around the personal statement for your college applications. And now with the acronym BU, 
you'll be able to craft your best personal essay. Here's to your success. I'm your host, Dr. Crystal Rose. Until next time on Tongue TV.